The girl that's supposed to save this show is back. Well, she never really left. We're the one that left. Ghosted her for 500 years. She's been looking for us. And I feel bad for Shni. We're back. Master and... She's not a servant, right? I don't know what we are. Anyways, they're, they're very in love. Apparently, a lot of things are cut up. But what do you expect? It's an anime, right? Anime is supposed to do advertising for the source material. So it's not going to cover all the important stuff that people hope was going to be in the show. But it is what it is. I think this is going to be the start of a new arc now. I think that at the end of the episode, the royal princess basically saw like the sword, right? And it's like, oh, the sigil or something. It's like, a, what is that? A raven? An eagle? Some kind of bird. And basically, that is the marksmanship of a legendary blacksmith who is actually us. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. The black blacksmith. Wow. Literally, sword art offline. Ooh. Get rizzed up by the high human. Oh, she is so aggro. She's like, oh, can you make a fine spouse? You gotta fight Shni over that. The waifu wars has begun. Okay, don't ambush him, but she might... I think she's gonna fuck up. What's up? Why are you so fast? They know each other. Shni is just that popular in this world. Okay. Wilhelm is like, bro, something is off here. You're too much of a fucking main character right now. Why are you so OP? Casually <laughs> just dodging all the lethal blows. You think Wilhelm feels a little bit betrayed that Shni is with him right now? You think that he feels he gets cooked? I thought we were boyfriends. A human. <gasps> a high human. Holding back, he says. She hasn't really uh, transformed into the lolly just yet. Dude, the amount of glaze that's happening. He's a fucking legend. Yeah, that surprised me too. He's a blacksmith? Of all things? Dude, his spear, man. It would be probably so OP if she handled it. And this is the girl that we power farmed. Shini. Yeah, the Shini Riser. She seems like a fucking celebrity in this world. From the moon sanctum? You know, that's kind of disrespectful. If you start glazing Shni, you start to puke right after. But only because of the horse rides. Alright, this is like basically email system. I want to get involved though. He just puts it right in the fucking titties. Right in the fucking middle, bro. Mm. Drag me into it, baby. Yeah. Oh! That was kind of wholesome. <laughs> I can't believe she always fights in the maid outfit, though. Does she have Hi. no other outfits? Does she actually wear that apron maid dress every time? The only thing that's missing here is the uh, blush on the ears. Because if this was Nephi, right, she'd be blushing not just her face, but her entire ears as well. And then the ears might be twitching like this. We have two BG Nels now. Big Booba. 
He gonna live here. He's your master. He owns this place. Oh, she doesn't know that he owns Moon Sanctum, right? He's the big boss. Yeah. No, I don't think she understands, really. Did he say high human in the beginning? He only said Shin, right? She kind of got power crept, huh? She, she kind of got power crept. Like, in the beginning couple episodes, I thought she's gonna be like the main waifu. But then Shni was always there. Her design is still fucking amazing. But like, she got power crept so quick. <laughs> uh, throw you out? <laughs> What kind of boss do you think he is? Right, it's our lolly fox that can talk. Damn, this is all Shni? Yeah, for Shin, of course. It's his first time back. What kind of aura? Campfire cooking in another world? あとは海洋機してたもんとか使ったんだろ。手の仕事を使わせていただきました。ちょっとはいえ、手の込んだものを作るには。って言い方だな。楽しみだぜ。Why she Okay. Theater has been reduced into the straight man role, getting surprised and shocked at everything. It's just like a little slice of life, just getting back home. Just a very chill episode. Next, more plates, please. Okay. All of their important members of Moon Sanctum. Everyone basically gave up except Shni. みんな気にするのは良くないと分かっていたのでしょう。探し続けるなんてそんなことさせたくないからな。そうです。シンが気にすることで。Out of free will, I think she was looking at a thirst. Oh, she drunk. He's a very happy-go-lucky guy. I thought elves could drink a lot. Maybe that's just Lord of the Ring lore. Are we sharing beds? So, nah, Shini gets her own room? We don't share beds? Shini! Sharing beds with the fucking fox, but not Shini, man. We're a furry. This is a certified furry moment, bro. Where's Shini? Knock, knock. Shni. Shni. Who's on me? Shni! Yeah. Kunka, kunka. <laughs> yeah, who's there? Oh, hello! Booba. Booba! Did you take a shower, bro? Anyone taking a shower here? She wearing the same fucking outfit for all 500 fucking years. But it's okay, anime girls are always perfectly clean. She's crying. Yeah, you really fucked her up, man. She's still here? Shini? <laughs> Why? She, she hid underneath the blanket? <laughs> Why? Because of the sun? What's she doing underneath the blanket right now? Why is her hair like that? That's Shini! That's not Shini. That's that's the lolly lo lolly transformation. We've been waiting for the lolly transformation for a long time. Right? All right, Yuzua has evolved yet again. Hi, Nano. Why? She's naked. Uh, why? Because this is the Nisekai. So she just like slept here and left. Yes, very cunning guys. Very cute and funny. Oh, Shrine Maiden! 
Now, does this mean that she is better than... You know how we had to drop Spice and Wolf because not many people were looking for Spice and Wolf reactions. But then we started to meme about how Fenris in Level 2 Cheat. You know, how the performance of that show and how Fenris is better in Hodo, which is a sacrificial thing to say. But now it's, uh, what if uh, Yusuha is better than Hodo? Is that, is that Fenris? Yusuha? Then Hodo? <laughs> no, 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 that's mean. Hara. ゆずはは人にも変化できたのですか。素敵な日ばかまですね。はい。おはようございます。では、テーブルにもう一人分用意しますね。来た。Can <笑> たくさん人が消えたことについて。うん。結局ユズハはあそこで何してたんだ they intervene with the natural disaster in some special way. So Elemental, I didn't think how important Elementals really were, but there's this big significance of them and the 500 years ago, the great logging out incident. Interesting. ジラートです。ジラート。ジラートか。あとなのか。生きているのか。Oh, ああ、大丈夫。持っていくから、パイいらない。ケンジャスポートウィッドス。せっかく外に出られるように。ムンセンテンケンジャスピックイットアップインサムウェアエルス。ケンジャスピックイットアップインサムウェアエルス。ケン
It's like you're at like a starting town and you're selling like end game level gear and it's just gonna be too suspicious. No one can even fucking uh, wield it. So we need to have like shittier weapons intentionally to sell it. Right. Make shittier weapons. Come on, Shin. Tira. Is Shini wearing the same maid outfit? Does she only have that one maid outfit? Focus, focus, focus. You guys need to worry about focus, focus. But Shini covers everything up. Tira is just all fan service. Focus, Shin! <laughs> They're big. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Is she a young woman? How old is she? Is she like she's like fucking like what? Like three hundred years old? She gotta be old as fuck. I know she's an elf, but age wise, age wise, she's the oldest fuck, right? But I guess she's like a. I don't even know what the, she is. Don't wanna say it. Don't wanna say it. That's today's episode. Today's episode was pretty simple right it's just kind of wrapping up the previous arc and setting up the new things so plot stuff what's the most important thing other support you know people obviously exist from the moon sanctum and the next person we're going to meet is rejard ragard re re ra gerard G gerard G the B high beast high beast he's like on his deathbed apparently he's like super old and like he's just been waiting so honestly shini has been looking for him after uh, for shin of course but like I feel bad because this guy could have actually died without even seeing Shin. There seems to be some important things of the first Beast King and the, you know, there's other Beast Kings now and something about the Alliance. Maybe we'll go there and there's going to be some kind of like um domestic like um problems that we'll have to solve on their behalf because like, I don't know. Or maybe we'll figure out how to like make him useful again so he can like, you know, hang out with us again. I'm not sure. Uh, the highlight of the, today's episode is basically just a fan service, right? Shinee's cooking was great, you know, use what transformation was cunny and then, you know, boing Tierra, boing Tierra. She knows exactly what she's doing with her titties. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.